Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay, and welcome to my first impressions of the LG V40. Now, this is the Sprint variant, so there are different models out there, but this is a Sprint variant. Uh, very beautiful phone. I've got all my information in here, and I got it set up and ready to go. Uh, I added some fingerprints, and fingerprint, you know, it's fast. There we go, fast enough. So, uh, the Sprint variant does have a lot of bloatware, and I, I didn't, I've already started uninstalling a few apps, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna wait a second and let these guys see exactly how much bloatware is on here. And I consider this all bloatware. All of this up here on the top, most of this is just all bloatware to me, and it will get uninstalled. Uh, the next time you see this phone, it will not look like this on the setup uh, screen. But this is my first impressions, and I want to shout out uh, Perry for sponsoring this video. He's a avid tech guy, so he volunteered to uh, provide the device for review. And um, we're gonna run through a review of this thing, you know, maybe a couple of weeks I'll have a full review for you. Because this phone came out in October of 2018 and it's very familiar. You know, I actually have used this phone already, but I didn't own it. So, and I didn't get a chance to take it home and, you know, really give it a thorough run through. But just taking a look at the hardware, you've got a 6.4 inch, 1440 by 3120 display. And it's actually really beautiful, man. It's, it's, a, it's a, I didn't expect anything less. I do have the G8. Uh, and I expect this this phone to be great too on the screen. Uh, so it's a lot bigger screen. That's what it is. It's by a little bit. So you got the triple camera set up on the back right right here, and and it's it's actually um, I've tested these out in store before, and they are really really good. Like I said, you've got a 12 megapixel standard, then you've got a 12 megapixel telephoto, and then you've got a 16 megapixel ultra wide shot. So this should be a really nice setup right here. Uh, for the the cameras it does record in 4k at 60 frames per second which is something I will test I'll give you uh, you know a, a full video on that it does have stereo sound for recording which is actually really great and you got to be mindful of that that it has two cameras on the front which is a standard 8 megapixel and then a 5 megapixel wide angle uh, it does record in 1080p 30 frames per second on the front and it's HDR uh, on the front and the rear that's that's just pretty awesome and you know LG has the best DAX in the game so you get 24-bit audio recording and 32-bit audio it's gonna be something nice wow the loudspeaker you've got um, a headphone jack you got type C uh, tuned by Meridian audio so it should be really good Bluetooth 5.0 is gonna be really nice uh, 3300 milliamp hour battery inside of here and this has six gigs of RAM with a Snapdragon 845 this is a flagship. This is a powerhouse, and I can't wait to take it through the, through the rundown and see how much I like this phone. Again, um, the V40, while it's not uh, brand new to the market, uh, it is a brand new device to me. So uh, the next time you see this, in, in a week or so, I'm gonna give you a follow-up video, uh, and I'm, I'm gonna just give it to you how it is, man. I'm gonna have it all set up and have it ready to go. So, my first impressions of the phone, though, feel in hand, uh, it's, this is, this is really nice. Let me find, where's my G8 at? I got, I got some new phones on the desk up here. Uh, let me find my G8. Here we go. Feel in hand, uh, it feels really, really good. Here's my G8. I mean, it, it feels just like the G8, it's just that the G8 is a much better footprint uh, because it's smaller, obviously, but it's, it's a little bit, feels a little bit thinner than the G8. And obviously it's a little bit bigger than the G8, a little bit wider, uh, but the feel in hand is pretty much the same. Uh, both are great, great feel in hand. You know, they're both slippery, obviously, but uh, but yeah, pretty much if you have the G8, you'll, you'll know what this phone feels like uh, when you fire it up. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm pretty excited to finally review the V40. Uh, it's, it's always been a phone that I wanted to check out. And again, shout out to the sponsor, Perry, for, for taking care of this and providing the device. Uh, but yeah, Sprint version, tons of bloatware, man. This is a horrible thing, Sprint. You're, you're loading down the phone with bloatware. This is a bad thing. Uh, but I'm ready to test these cameras for you guys, man. I can't wait to put these to the test. Uh, and uh, this is just a first impression. I didn't really want to do an unboxing, so I think he, he just provided the phone. He gave me the box and everything to ship it with, but um, nonetheless, it's just a charger and a cable in there, I'm pretty I'm, I'm sure, and I have my own here, so uh, it's going to be nice. So first impressions of V40, um, 
now that I can use it for a little bit, I'll see you in a couple of weeks with the full review more than likely, uh, because this should be an easy one. I'll just be testing battery life, uh, and this is over the Sprint network, so I'll be testing battery life, uh, you know, the basics, the cameras, obviously the cameras have to get a thorough run through, uh, and the sound quality, you know, the most important things to you guys, battery and, and, and cameras and, and phone calls also. Sprint, where, okay, now disclaimer, where I live at, Sprint is actually really good where I live at. I mean, they're, they're a solid company. There are more Sprint stores than T-Mobile stores and Verizon stores where I'm at because they're, the service here is really, really good. Really excellent service here with Sprint. Uh, and um, I think they might be getting married to join with T-Mobile. We'll see. But that'll be a huge win for all of us because I would love to have Sprint's stability when traveling. Uh, I told you guys I, I, I was traveling and I've been gone for the last four or five days, I believe. And this is the first video I'm putting out since being back. And I would have loved to have taken this to Florida with me in Alabama and all the different states that I went to uh, when traveling to test their service. I know it will be good because T-Mobile faded out a little bit along the way. Like usual, we go to Florida every year if we can, and Alabama several times a year and all the different places. So I'll be testing this and I've got another phone to test for you guys over the Verizon network. I'll, I'll get into that later. Uh, but um, for now, the V40 overall, you know, you've got the cutout at the top. That doesn't, I don't think that's really gonna bother me up there, but V40 owners, what is something that I should look forward to experiencing with this phone what should i be looking forward to what should i expect how, what kind of battery life are you getting i know you're going to tell me the cameras are great uh but you know how do you feel about the size of the phone give me a rundown if you have a v40 uh, and let me know what you think it's your man jay first impressions of the v40 feels like my g8